In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to actually build cartridges with Reloading Studio. We already covered how to add primers, powders, cases, rifles, and so on. And now we're going to come back and build a cartridge for the 308 rate rifle. First thing we do is click on the plus button and it'll give us a new cartridge developing group. A group is essentially a logical grouping of different batches. For example, you're testing with sitting at or um, various grains of powder. That's what it's for. We can save, we can add another batch, and we can keep going. In this instance, we're going to start with the first batch. 39 grains open it, fill it in, and clone from that, just to save us time. So we're using federal brass, we're using particular bullets, primer, we're going to select our powder, I'm going to say that the charge is 39 grains, charge reference is where you found the initial starting point just for your own record keeping, I'm going to say some website.com assembly cartridge overall length and let's say something on point 0.18 and we've loaded eight cartridges save we can dive in a little bit more detail if we really want to and we can say more setting on point 8 we measured the entire cartridge not of the low drive so it'd be a little bit smaller uh, we can dive into performance data, assembly, and so on. The interesting part in here is the performance data. Your rifle might actually be sighted in for a slightly different cartridge, and you don't want to change that. So you can add a scope note for this particular case, saying four clicks below zero, like that. Doesn't really matter. Save and close. So now that we've done this, we can start cloning and adding more test data. Save. Open this, update our charge reference, which is now 40.5. Save. We can say that charge reference is actually um, from last batch. Close this and we're done. Eventually you'll of course shoot it, make some notes and add some data. So perhaps targets, chronograph exports and so on. Close it and here we are. Um, we can lock this particular batch because we'll say that this is a favorite batch and we don't want to change it or we can mark it as a favorite in which case we can actually use a filter and filter out everything else uh, another option is to lock the entire development group you can still read it but at this stage you can't edit it and it could be because you sold the rifle or you no longer have this particular components the Last thing is obviously give it a name. So testing quantity 155. Actually, we don't really need to say in what because we are already associated with a particular rifle. If at a later date we want to use roughly the same experiments but with a different projectile, we can actually clone the entire cartridge development group. Here it is. We can say testing Sierra 150 grain 